Hey everybody, Rich Pie Guy here. Today we're going to talk about Raspberry Pi 4s and which Raspberry Pi 4 is best for retro gaming on RetroPie. So as you may know, we have a 2 gigabyte RAM option, a 4 gigabyte RAM option, and an 8 gigabyte RAM option. So which one is best? Well, that's going to depend on what you want to do with RetroPie. Do you want to be able to get into all the different game collections that are available on RetroPie, or are you looking more for just the early ones, like maybe Classic Arcade, Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, stuff like that. If you're looking for just those earlier ones, then you'll likely get by with the two gigabyte RAM. If you're looking to access every collection that's available on RetroPie, anything from you know Classic Arcade, Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, all the way up to N64, PlayStation, PSP, and Dreamcast, then I highly recommend that you go with the 4 gigabyte RAM. So why not go with the Raspberry Pi 4 with 8 gigabytes RAM? Obviously, 8 gigabytes is double what 4 gigabytes is. So with that in mind, we should be able to emulate these games even better on the 8 gigabytes than we can on the 4 gigabytes, right? Well, unfortunately, that's just not the case. With RetroPie and retro gaming on RetroPie, we actually don't exceed 4 gigabytes. So having the 8 gigabyte RAM, it is a higher cost and we will never utilize all that extra RAM. So it just doesn't make sense if you're going to be using your Raspberry Pi just for emulation on RetroPie. If you're gonna be using that Raspberry Pi 4 for something additional, maybe you're gonna swap out SD cards, put in Raspberry Pi's operating system, and do some stuff on there that will actually put that extra RAM to use, then it totally makes sense to go that route. However, I will mention that some RetroPie images are not compatible with the Raspberry Pi 4 using eight gigabyte RAM. I'm not too familiar with this because the images that I use do work with that particular Raspberry Pi model, but it is worth mentioning because I have heard from a lot of people out there that certain images do not work properly on there. Now, I have experienced a couple glitches here and there with the 8 gigabyte Raspberry Pi. Now, that's not to say that it's going to be the case for every single person out there, even with the same images, but where I have found the sweet spot to be is on that 4 gigabyte RAM. That's where I seem to have the best luck with all the different collections out there on RetroPie. I've been using the 4GB RAM for years now. I've had absolutely no issues. Everything works really nicely on there. It obviously is just going to depend on your particular image. And you definitely want to make sure that you have a cooling fan attached to your Raspberry Pi just to keep everything cool. Because if you do overheat your Raspberry Pi, you will definitely have some issues with different game emulations. So. That's really gonna do it today. I wanted to just kind of clear this up because there's been a lot of back and forth with a lot of people about which Raspberry Pi you should go with when emulating through RetroPie. So that's my two cents on this. That's what I firmly believe in. Again, I've used the Raspberry Pi two, four, and eight gigabytes. And where I found it to be just the best is on the four gigabytes. And at that really fair price point, I think that it just makes sense to go that route. It doesn't make sense to me to pay a higher price for eight gigabytes if you're never going to actually put it to use. So that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different retro gaming videos, such as tutorials, gameplay demos, product reviews, just a little bit of everything on here. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.